Now, if you want to use the AirPlay feature to like stream or connect the video or music or whatever it is to like a different device, then you can do it easily. But if it doesn't work, then you should do a couple of these things or keep them in mind. First of all, you need to make sure that the device actually supports it because you can easily go ahead and click on this button, for example, in YouTube and you can see AirPlay and Bluetooth devices. But for me, it's not really doing a lot. You can see that my HomePod actually is here supported and my MacBook as well. So these are the options which I can use. But besides that, I cannot see any TV. So in case you have a TV laying around, make sure that it does support AirPlay. You can find it out from the manual or from the box or uh, some product information of that specific TV. And if it does support it, you need to make sure that it is also enabled to turn on, connected to power and ready to go. Another kind of big problem would be that you want to like connect it, you actually find it and you can see that you're going to tap on that device and it asks you to type in a code, a passcode. So you can see you can link it with TV code. There is the option as well. So there is a possibility that your TV is going to display like four digit. Usually it's four digit passcode. And once you do that, you need to type the passcode into your iPhone. So the same four numbers that you can see on the TV in the distance, you need to type them into your iPhone as well. So that's how it works. That's the verification metric. And when this isn't like done, when this step is skipped, you're not going to be able to use the AirPods at all. Of course, this is through the YouTube app, but AirPlay can be used from the control center as well. So here is the button. It pretty much just shows you the screen mirroring or AirPlay. I mean, it really depends on where you are because you can literally be in the Photos app and click on share and AirPlay from there. So it's not really a problem to get it like to find the button, but it's more problematic to like get it to work sometimes. Of course, if your TV doesn't like recognize your iPhone or something, then you just have to unplug it, like turn it off, turn it back on, and this should definitely work. And a lot of times it does fix the problem. But it may happen that something is going on with your iPhone, and that is kind of a likely uh, situation. So in this case, the best solution, the best thing you can try out is definitely to update your software. So if you go to the general and software update section in your settings, you can see that new update is already available. And it usually doesn't mention anything about these small bug fixes or whatever, but you can see that it's like 21 new emojis and stuff and some additional features, bug fixes and enhancements. So this could very likely be something going on with the AirPlay. And even if not, even if the update has nothing to do with the AirPlay functionality or AirPlay problems, well, it's always a good idea to have and to run the latest software, the latest iOS. So this is definitely something that you should do because, yeah, it makes sense to, to use it that way. Also, another thing would be to keep in mind and the kind of very important thing, well, there may be a type of content which is copyrighted and it is simply not able to uh, use AirPlay with it. So, for example, you can use Netflix or, I don't know, like some random app if it shows you that there is an error you cannot use it chances are that it's also because of copyright so in case you have like you know the regular youtube videos or like your photos whatever like home videos those should definitely not have the problem this doesn't apply to your like basic stuff but some downloaded videos or movies or whatever may be copyrighted or some other material may not work so just keep that in mind that it, this could be an issue as well i'm not saying that this is 100 percent and the thing but it can actually happen also what can happen is the problem with the network connection so in case your tv is connected to the same wi-fi router as your iphone then you should perhaps reset it like turn the wi-fi off and on you can even do that on your iphone in case you are in the airplane mode you should definitely turn that off because it of course this may cause some problems you can see i cannot even see any new devices in here when i'm in the airplane mode so make sure to keep it that way so it can actually search for those other devices so these are kind of the basic troubleshooting methods but definitely make sure that you have done some of these things because it can definitely help you out and fix this whole problem so that would be about it I really don't think what else could cause the problem. It's mostly just some internet connection or connectivity issue, update, bug, whatever. So usually this kind of stuff fixes the problem. Anyways, that would be about it. For more tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel and also check out the next this next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace.